Tragedy on the interstate tonight following the death of a tow truck operator hit and killed while on the job. It happened this afternoon on the side of 575 in Woodstock. And just hours ago, we confirmed Frank Ingram is the operator who was killed. His death marks the third tow truck operator killed in Georgia since March. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn live for us this evening in Woodstock. And Cody, you say this is really hitting close to home for tow companies all over our state. Jennifer, it does. They are heartbroken for his family and friends, but angry as well. Frank, who owned Ingram towing just down the street here from me in Woodstock, who died on 587, did so just two days before National Move Over Day. It's an initiative to remind drivers to slow down, move over, and give these first responders a safe place to work. A horrific reminder of the dangers first responders face every day on our interstates. You know, I, it, that we shouldn't have to die trying to do our job. Frank Ingram was working out of his heavy duty wrecker. You see it on the side of 575 here in Woodstock, trying to hook up a dump truck. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss. Despite the large vehicles, plus a state law that requires drivers to slow down and move over a lane when first responders are working, Ingram was still hit. Now his whole family and business has to suffer. You know, that he doesn't get to go home. Angela Rover, a board member of the Towing and Recovery Association of Georgia, who advocate for the industry. That marks the 34th death since January 1 of responders nationwide. That is the 14th tow truck operator to be hit and killed this year. Three of the operators out of Metro Atlanta, including Ingram. You know, I feel great sadness for the for the responder community today, um, especially in Georgia. Toby Bowden was run over in March while helping clear a crash on I-85 in Noonan. The driver charged with DUI. Just a few weeks later, Troy Simon was killed while helping a stranded driver on the downtown connector in Midtown. The driver charged with DUI. It makes me sick to my stomach. That's the first reaction. Um, I get really angry. Woodstock police have not said tonight if the driver who hit Ingram on 575 will be charged or not.